morning. Happy Tuesday, Flosstube. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? My name is Caroline. Welcome back. Um, weekday <laughs> daily videos for Flossmas, Vlogmas. Um, really brief today. I know my habit is that I say it's brief and it ends up being 20 minutes. However, I mean it today. I have a lot of work to do today, um, but I wanted to make sure that I did something a little bit fun. So I have a little giveaway planned for today. Uh, because we we shared so much about all of our red flosses yesterday, I thought let's do let's do a little chart and floss giveaway. I still have a box full of charts from when Kathy and Neil retired and closed down my old local needle workshop called Thread and I. And uh, when they were closing everything down, they had a lot of charts that that hadn't sold that um, they offered me some, you know, to to offer up for giveaway. And I'm I'm still working my way through that box. There were quite a few charts in there. So this is one of those super sweet charts. I have actually, I have a couple of this particular chart. So you may see this one come up again. This is going to be a YouTube giveaway. So uh, you can leave me a comment on this video. Leave me a comment below. And the word you're gonna use in your comment is hope because it is this chart. This is a JBW Designs chart called A Sweet Bouquet. And as you can see, the word hope is there on the chart. It's really sweet. This was a um, this was a, a fundraiser chart that Judy designed. On the back, it said, "This design is dedicated to all of our families and friends who are facing cancer treatment. A portion of the sales of each leaflet will be donated to the American Cancer Society." So that was some. Um, quite a quite a nice gesture uh, so I have one of these today to give away and because let's get that to focus it wants to focus on my bag in the background there we go and because it's a, a red design we were talking about our red flosses I'm going to throw in two full skeins of Lucille to come to make the journey along with this chart so there's Lucille right there. So if you'd like a chance to win this little floss and chart combo, leave me a comment below with the word hope in it. And this is going to be a super quick turnaround because I want to pick a winner. I want to get this out the mail, out in the mail tomorrow or uh, third. What's today? Today's Tuesday. By Thursday at the latest, so that hopefully someone can have it in time for the holidays. So, hope, leave me a comment. The only other thing I can show you today, because I actually did a fair bit of stitching last night, but I was working on a shop model for Hannah's new uh, design that we're going, to be, we're going to be sharing with everybody next week. So I can't, I'm not quite ready to share it with you yet, but I did put in a length of floss in my penguins. So here's where we're at. I added two little words, at, uh, so now we have at a penguin and then I still had a little bit of floss left on my needle so I, I I think I added in a few extra stitches in the border here that was about it so I am I just uh, I, I love working on this this is one of those pieces that I'm gonna be sad when it's done you know just one of those projects where everything about it is enjoyable it's a pleasure and I'm going to love having it finished but I'm also going to be really sad that it's finished so yeah so this is Ruskin's Penguins by Jacob of Modern Folk Embroidery you can find the PDF on his website which is www.modernfolkembroidery.com um, or we carry the physical charts here floss is Leo and Roxy chalkboard and weathered white now I had I, ha I had a great great question from um, a customer named Isabel and I it, it was a, a question I'm hoping that I have her permission to share it with you so I'm waiting to hear back from her it's about the floss um, but it's also it's a great stitching question so I was hoping to share the email conversation today 
but I haven't heard back from Isabel yet and I'd, I'd really like to have her permission before I share her question and my response about it. So I might have something super interesting to share with you tomorrow. I know it's quite a lead up, isn't it? But I will also hopefully have a little more time tomorrow as well. So we can have a leisurely chat. Um, what am I drinking today? Something good. Something good in my mug today. This is one of those stash holiday teas. There are a few different stash holiday teas that are just delicious. And I have to say, I think this is probably my favorite. This is the maple apple cider. It has just a hint of sweetness, but you know, there's no sugar in it. It is, the ingredients are rubos, hibiscus, cinnamon, maple flavor, nutmeg, apple flavor, and caramel flavor. Well, I'm assuming there's no sugar in it. It does say 100% natural ingredients, but anyways, it does say caffeine free too. So I'm gonna need a side of coffee to go with this. <laughs> side of coffee. All right. I wish I had more time to stay and chat today because getting back into the swing of recording these videos has been so fun and uh, it's been a real pleasure. I'm glad I took such a long break because it has really made me appreciate what I've been missing. And uh, it's been really nice to reconnect with so many of you in the comments section. Uh, I, I'm a little bit behind in hitting that heart on uh, the comments from a couple of days ago. I'm sure you can, you can you can understand that you know every day with daily videos there's lots of comments but i read them all um and, and i just have to uh, i just have to catch up i'm a few days behind so on that note oh i knit a couple of rows on my heel flap on my sock it's not worth showing you because again it doesn't look much different than when i shared it yesterday and that's it that's it for me today Happy Flossmas Day 7. I hope that you're well. I hope that you're safe. And I hope that you have some stitching or some crafting to keep you company tonight, bring you a little bit of joy. And don't forget to leave me a comment. Don't forget, I'm pulling the winner. I'm drawing the winner, choosing the winner tomorrow, which will be December the 8th. So quick turnaround, 24 hours. I'm going to time it 24 hours from the time this video is live. Uh, and that will be the time that I use the random comment generator to choose a winner. And maybe I'll have another one tomorrow. <laughs> Should we do it again? Let's do it again tomorrow. I have the same chart. I have two. So let's do, let's do another one tomorrow. So on that note, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Happy stitching.